Hi everyone, welcome to runout.tv. Mal here from the website, and it's nice to see you all in uh, Loch Lomond with the Deep Pockets table tournament settings with hmm, hmm, getting a two game start and a race to six winner breaks. And let's just see how we get on. Now, this looks like a, a decent rack here. You've got to be careful from the three to the four. Uh, ooh, I might just run through because I can nicely run through for the for the five into the corner. And obviously, just roll it down. I want to be a little bit off the cushion if I can, just to sort of pull it back a little bit. Um, don't need much, but I might just roll through the nine. Just like that. Stop. Right, so probably just go up the cushion here. Cheat the pocket just a little. Leave the nice easy black. And go off the bottom cushion for the nine in the corner. That's so two one. Winner breaks, remember? Be nice if we could run all six, but probably won't happen. Right, oh got a nice one ball there. Nice uh, white ball, just nice and static. Can get kicked by that three. Oh dear. Um, so we'll keep going. See if we can go twice across the table. Oops. Oh, got very lucky there. And even more lucky there. Although look where the white was for that plan for the blue. So wasn't totally lucky. Um, obviously the pot was. Um, let's see if we can shift this to two now. Heading for it. Heading for it. Oh, do I have just about got there? Yes. Now, just need another great shot here. Just got to keep these nice shots coming. Overcut it again. So I'm having a problem with sighting those ones. I'm working on these shots quite extensively with the... Um, whoops, right off the table. Uh, on real life play, because VP4, VP3 more was really responsible for... Messing up my game in that respect. Um, does that even go? I don't know. Hmm. What am I going to do with this one? Can I even get this one in? I don't know. Does it even have a pocket? Probably that one. So, um. See, so yeah, I'm playing a lot of real life pool now. I'm trying to get ready for the pro tour. Nice easy run out there. Made to look easy, of course. Uh, shout out to Make a Stand 5, uh, Aaron, Peter, and also um, the guy who sounds like Bender Geiger from the online game. He says that I smashed the balls in. I'm trying not to do it that much because I've realised I do that in real life, so I'm trying to just tap it in, like Happy Gilmore would say. Hmm. So I'm off work till Friday, so you might get a few videos. I noticed that my hit count has suffered a little bit uh, when I put up a glut of videos over the weekend, a couple of weekends ago. Ooh, bad miss there from Tattoos. She left me in with an opportunity now. Uh, probably should have given her a few more racks head start. Take the lead in this match. Um, technically three 0 I gave her a two head start. Hope the nine's been kicked. Could go anywhere. Looks like it's going over the pocket, but not quite fully over the pocket. And I've left actually a very nice rack for tattoos. Should start to pot a few balls here. Hitting that eight actually makes things easier. So a nice little uh, practice setup now. Must say the the lighting, the physics on the online game, very very good. You'll like that, guys. 
news on when it'll come out. I've always said I thought it would be 2014. I still think it will be. There's still various bits of testing, bits and pieces going on. Uh, they have a very small team doing all the tweaks, so got to be patient. Nice run out by the computer here. Should be, I say should be, a win. That white needs to slow down. Oh dear. You just wondered if that might happen. Yeah, never nice when the computer give, gives you one like that. Oops, where's that white ball going? It's alright. Um, so yes. One ball somehow finds its way in, but has the white been kicked in? It has. Unlucky. 4 2 though, so it should be okay. Yeah, like I say, I found the hit suffered a little bit. So I'm only going to do maybe one, two videos a week. I'm awfully tired. Don't know why. Had a good sleep last night, it's probably why. Usually, if I get up with like six hours sleep, I'm okay. So the computer's doing well here. Uh, Suffered should have been 3-3. Never nice to lose a, a rack like that. And it's also given away a one here. So um, that should be this rack as well for me. Um, that's not the best positional shot. So I'll have to travel the white a little bit to come back in the middle of the table for this black. But I don't need to worry too much because, you know, just a bit of screw back. Just really, you just want to avoid the middle pocket really. And there you go, nice and easy for uh, to move to the hill. Looking for a ball down, not get them. Two's gone awkward. Got lucky on where the one's gone, so probably a push out here. And I don't think there's any reason for me to take on this push because the two, like I say, is covered by the brown seven. Could be a foul. No, it's a good shot actually, it's a very good shot. So, just containing safety. Something's got to be done about that two ball. Oh, a lot of side spin, trying to do something, and has left herself possible for a, a safety. But actually has done a very bad job and has given me a, a very good opportunity to tie up this match. So, let's see if I can do it. Um... So I'll try and move that seven. Done a good job of that. That's now made it very plausible that I might have a chance of clearing up here. So a little bit left just to check the whites move off the cushion. Perfect opportunity now to clear up. Just a nice, nice easy clearance now. That wasn't very good, but I can just. Pull a little bit of screw back on the white. And nine ball in the corner for the match. And I missed it. Oh, that was silly. I noticed myself missing a few of these, really, which is um, a bit silly. I don't know if you missed nine balls. I wasn't trying to extend the, uh, <laughs> the, the match there. I was trying to win it. Sometimes you just got to move the, uh, the angle a little bit just to make sure... Um, mm, now, can I jump this or not? I'm going to go for it, but... No. Nah. Trying to get loads of elevation. Took it a bit far. Right, that should be all she wrote. Let's see if I can close this one down. I want to be off that cushion a little bit. That's not good either. Try and uh, spin it round. Get back up the table with no angle. And there you go. That's one of the better shots I've played. It was almost worth missing for that one. We'll do the old two cushion position off face with a bit of side. 
and blow it completely. God. Oh dear dear. Should we go for the for the double? Ooh, missed it. I'm not taking this for granted, but it's kind of like, <laughs> it's just not quite coming off for me. I'm just making a few silly mistakes. Oh dear. Now we need a bit of help. <laughs> oh, what a great shot that was. Yikes. Jesus. <laughs> right, okay. Little uh, jump shot safety. Mm, I got a question off um, somebody who asked, "Do I post every video that I record?" And the answer is yes. If I decide to record a match, I post it whether I win or lose. Um, just because I think you know, if I was just going to post matches that I win, that'd be boring. So. No matter how bad this comes off, I'll post it, even if I end up losing it, which will be slightly frustrating. At least it gives you guys something to watch with, such as me pounding somebody, which would just be boring, I think, after a while. So even if I miss some silly ones, which I have today... Oh, good God. Try to <laughs> control the screw back and, uh, dear me, just got a bit lucky. dropped and opened up the blacks that's worked out very well indeed right we need another one of my three cushion positional shots on the seven with another one of my drill ones i.e. the ones that I quite often miss thundered in left myself another tricky one for the match second time lucky then and there we go get the 6-4 so let's have a quick look at my statistics now that I've managed to win that game Uh, cancel Pro Tour stats right as you can see I'm just about to make 500,000 on tournament money earned what am I going to spend it on I don't know so my, as you can see my, my stats have really improved uh, ball making average here is above 0 0.8 0 0.803 which is a massive increase bearing in mind how bad I was at the start I think that might even be even higher if I start a new one now to get new stats I might even be even higher than that um, breaks made a ball just about 64% sort of sits around there look at the big sample size games played 8,700 so 992 run outs from the break 21.1% and I'm very proud of that stat not many people have got over 21% um, break fouls 7% it's going down but still a bit high money balls made 4.4 that doesn't count as a run out as well so that's kind of even higher and 94% roughly for the money ball making average um, it's about you, you, uh, roughly where, what you'd expect. I'm not sure what consecutive runouts means. Um, I mean, maybe that's just how many times where I've had the first shot. Like, say, my opponent's broke pot two balls and then I clear up. I think that might be that. I don't know. That's all I can think of. But um, ranked as a pro, which I think is a bit harsh. I think I should be a champion. I'm currently ranked sixth uh, on the uh, tour, which is. Um, after the first round I got to the last eight of the um, first knockout event which I always tend to do quite well in and uh, then I lost so there you go guys so thanks for watching keep in touch on runout.tv I've got some interesting real life pool videos coming very soon um, th this Tuesday I've got contact lens appointments that's tomorrow and then I'll be starting my weight loss challenge so there'll be plenty of new videos coming on variety of stuff if you want to watch both the VP4 and the uh, the real life stuff there. There should be everything on runout.tv. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.